summary Natalie Mordetseva has become the most successful of the three cast members, securing new reality TV deals and kickstarting her modeling career in Los Angeles. Hamza Mokani has moved to Chicago and is now thriving, sharing photos of himself enjoying the city and engaging in a relentless fitness routine. Muhammad Abdelhamd, the most controversial of the three, is currently single and living in Albuquerque, New Mexico, potentially taking advantage of the state's immigration laws. Natalie Mordetseva, Hamza Mokani, and Muhammad Abdelhamd are three controversial 90-day fiancé cast members who split up from their partners soon after moving to the United States. Natalie's journey on the show began when she traveled from Ukraine to marry her Washington-based partner, Mike Youngquist. She dreamed of having a cozy future, becoming a mom, and building a home. Unfortunately, things didn't go as Natalie had planned. Mike's distant job and numerous other differences made it hard for the Ukrainian model to coexist with her husband. She ran away from him and later appeared on a different spin-off. Unlike Natalie, Hamza came to the United States after marrying his Michigan-based partner, Memphis Sandoval. The couple got pregnant early in their relationship and welcomed an adorable daughter. Surprisingly, something changed right after the two filmed the tell-all. They grew distant and split up before ending their relationship permanently. Muhammad's story in 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 was the wildest one of them all. He came from Egypt to seal the deal with single mom wife Arellano. However, he broke up with her soon after the wedding and moved out of her house after getting caught talking to another woman. Natalie is busy doing modeling gigs in LA all three foreigners couldn't build a worthwhile relationship with their American spouses. Despite that, they could secure a place in the United States and make a living. Natalie has visibly been the most successful in America. She may not have had too many noteworthy skills or talents initially. However, she changed that by continually scoring new reality TV deals and making a name for herself in the modeling world. Natalie dated a modeling agency owner, Josh Weinstein. Since then, she has secured many contacts, made new friends, and kickstarted her modeling career in Los Angeles. Hamza still lives in Chicago Hamza moved to Chicago soon after ending things with his wife, Memphis. Soon after, he began posting worrying photos of himself on social media. Thankfully, things changed for him over the last few months. 2023 has been a great year for Hamza, who's now happy and thriving in Chicago. He loves sharing photos of himself smiling from downtown and visiting cool events. He also likes to show off his muscles and relentless fitness routine. The young Tunisian man hasn't been open about what he does for a living, but he's likely doing a regular job. Muhammad's Facebook reveals his current location Muhammad was the most controversial of the three cast members. While he did marry Wive, he was soon caught cheating on Wive and had to run away to the safest place he could. The Egyptian man's social media page reveals that he's single and living somewhere in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's hard to tell if he has secured a green card yet. However, he may have taken advantage of New Mexico's immigration laws to be part of the United States despite getting divorced. It will be interesting to see if the 90 Day Fiancé alum can secure a permanent place in the U.S. 
Sunday, 90 Day Fiancé airs Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC. Source, Natalie Morditseva, Instagram, Hamza Mokini, Instagram, Muhammad Abdelhamed, Facebook 90 Day Fiancé release date. The 12th of January 2014 cast. Sean Robinson main genre, reality genres, romance, drama, reality TV seasons, 9 network, TLC streaming services, TLC Go franchises, 90 Day Fiancé directors, Rogue Rubin, Kevin Rhodes, Jessica Hernandez showrunner, Kyle Hamley.